what is up Slim Poo right at you with another unboxing today we're unboxing the BAM horror box I know it's been a minute since I have done any type of unboxing any type of video I apologize for that it has been a crazy month for me <clears throat> but <clears throat> enough with the excuses let's go ahead and start cracking it open you guys are not here for that anyways <laughs> sorry so let me go ahead Slash this thing open. If you're not familiar with this box, this is a mystery band box, um, which comes with mystery stuff. And this theme is horror. And well, this box is horror themed. And there's different things for it, but I don't know what exactly what it is. And I believe this is volume six, box six. If I'm incorrect, it'll be in the title. You would know. Anyways, so end up with a blabbing. Let's open it up. Whenever you open it up, you always get this each box. So there's a culture box and now a new gamer box, which hopefully I will be getting soon. And I like to keep it a mystery for myself. I like to just know what, what we're having. And you usually always get like two autographs in here, one from a artist and one from a, like an actor, actress, something like that from from one of the horror people and I think this is the pen so let's do the pen first and yeah ooh is that candy man I think that's candy man you can see you closer uh we'll find out so it's a volume five box six alright Whatever all the, that crap means. Um, so I grabbed like a couple of things. So here's um, here's like a Michael Myers card, which is ooh, it's pretty cool looking. Got his machete with some blood slashing on it. That's pretty cool. Um, I was hoping that I had the name there is but you know I can't really read it anyways I bet you guys probably don't care for that uh, what is this it looks like I have a level up not sure what's leveled up and well guess we'll find out at the end right BAM three matches I never win I don't think I have ever seen anybody win so let's see it's a box controller I'm not gonna go any further because that means I lost you have to match three to win I didn't match two so I feel this type of tin in here I don't know like a metal plate um, I don't know and like two other things anyway let me go ahead and get the metal plate since that's the first thing that's uh, fried chicken and gasoline what is this from what is that from? Maybe you guys are more familiar with it. Fried chicken and gasoline. Well, honestly, props like this, I really don't give a damn for. So, I'm kind of getting a little annoyed with band box and their stuff. Um, who knows, I might not be getting them anymore. And here's an 8x10. I think this is from an artist. And, yeah. Say my name. This is um, a Candyman theme. That's awesome. Here it is. That's the autograph of the artist right there, but I don't know who he is. And it is 420 out of 2200. <laughs> 420. And what else is there? There's an 8x10. Oh, yeah, they did change their authenticities. Oh, look, it looks like they have their um, actual cheat sheets. So I'm going to put that to the side for now. Um, and that's it. So, cheat sheet. Yeah, okay. Um, and then here's the 8x10. The 8x10 is going to be by Sleepaway Camp. You won't be home again. Yeah, what is the... um? Beckett, yeah. Now it's um the authentic authenticity is gonna be coming from Beckett. 
So, Angela. Here it is. Here's the autograph right here. And the authenticity right there of the Becker right there in the what's that? Right here in the corner. With the seal too, which is pretty cool. Let me see what it says on here. Uh the corresponding sign item has been subjected to examine by an expert from Becky Auth Authentication Service and has been deemed authentic and genuine. This authentic words can be verified by visiting. Yeah, blah blah. So you could you could actually compare your codes if you go on to their website, which is um, Beckett. Beckett slash authentication dot com, and then there's a um a cert certification serial number, and it's on the card. And plus, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's also with the sticker. So you have two verification codes on here to verify this is actually a real, real autograph. So Bam is not doing their own autographs anymore. And here's something here. I have no idea. An exclusive saving offer for you to receive a 25% off Beckett, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like you could um, you could buy stuff from there. And they'll give you, like, a code. Um, if you want my code, I don't know if everybody has the same code. But mine is BAM25. Go ahead. Enjoy it. I'm not going in there. I really don't care for 8x10 autographs. I've sent, said that many times on my videos. If you watch my videos, I really don't care for them because it's not like I'm going to post them on my wall. And here's the cheat sheet. Finally, they got their cheat sheet backs. And I don't even know what was my level up, quite honestly. So here's a celebrity autograph from one of the many cult classic horror films in the, of the 1980s. We present Felisa... Rose from the film Sleepaway Camp. I have never seen this movie. I have never seen that movie. Sleepaway Camp. How big was that movie? Because I honestly don't I don't even it doesn't even look familiar to me. So uh, and I've seen a lot of eighties movies. Anyways the fan art paint Yeah, I honestly don't even know what was my level of uh, I'm, uh, okay, my level up was the pin. Where's my pin at? I just tossed that bitch. Oh, it's right here. The level up was the pin. Because it, it looks like, um, it looks like the, um, the other pins are just here. That's what it looks like. You can see that. I guess that's what the pin's supposed to be. So, my level up was the pin. Um, was my card thing a level up as well no i only got one level up anyways um so yeah i guess that was it was anything else a level up because okay, this is blue okay it's black yeah no it looks like that's the only level up which oh yeah you i did want to know what the heck this prop was all right this prop was a chip um uh, Check out the fried chicken and gasoline from the one one thousand corpses. I, oh yeah, the house of one thousand corpses. Yeah, I've seen that movie. It do, it did look familiar. It did look familiar, but I just couldn't picture what it was. So okay. So it's house of a thousand corpses. That's where it's from, and obviously the um the little artist select card of the. Jason, Jason for Hayes, and that's it, you know, um, yeah, another, huh, box, yeah, I'm not too impressed with them, um, who knows, I might end up, um, uh, canceling my subscription to YouTube, I think the only time I'm ever gonna get something from them is, like, if they actually announce that it's gonna be with a Funko Pop or something like that, because I'd rather have something that has, like, like, you know what, sign this next time. Sign this. I'd rather have them sign something like this, their little props that they make, than 8x10 crap that I would never hang. 
especially like a poster like this it just looks like it looks like this right here that you that you just had them sign why didn't they just go ahead and just make a prop of this movie even if it was a fake little keychain of a, a adidas and she was to sign it just do that if you can make this you could do something for them to sign this but anyways that's my little rant about it um out of this box if i'm gonna start rating boxes i might do that um i like candy man candy moon is cool look this is two out of five to tell you the truth I, i'm not really impressed i think to me it was a waste of money maybe somebody will appreciate this more than i will but i don't i don't care for it to tell you the truth i could have been done without this one like if somebody was to give me this i'll actually give this away <laughs> but anyways um yep uh, to me it was a waste of money but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you will enjoy this and appreciate this as much as i did because i i yeah, that's how i feel about it <laughs> so see you guys next time in the next video and i appreciate you guys thank you and peace